It's a beautiful day in Los Altos Hills, California. We're here to install a 9.5 kilowatt residential PV array using SolarEdge's optimized inverter technology. Joining me today is Slingshot Power, who will be doing the installation. As you can see, we already have the racking done, and now it's time to install the power optimizers. These power optimizers perform the MPP tracking that most string inverters attempt to do at the end of the string. By placing the electronics closer to the modules, we can fully capture all of the energy that they produce. Many sources of shade may go unnoticed in today's market. As installation times get shorter, as more designs are done by satellite, things like telephone lines and tree height may be missed in the design. Installation is easy. The power optimizers only require equipment grounding. That can be done with just a single star washer inserted between the metal plate on the optimizer and the rack. You just mount with a single bolt and you're done. Next, you wire the optimizers together. They use male, female locking connectors. Make sure you listen for the click and that's it. Next, we gather up all of the barcodes. This is to build the array in the monitoring portal. SolarEdge supplies an easy to remove decal that can be removed and placed on a PV grid sheet. To install the PV modules, you just need to connect the two short cables from the power optimizer to the cables on the PV module. Match the female to male in and listen for the click. Today we're installing two SE5000 SolarEdge inverters. These inverters just got even easier to install as they come with the DCD pre-assembled. These inverters are fixed voltage inverters that are specifically designed to work with SolarEdge power optimizers. That means they're lighter, smaller, and more cost effective than other inverters on the market. And their color blends well with just about any building architecture. We first place our mounting bracket. You can use the bracket as a template for the holes. Now align the two bolts on the top of the inverter into the U-mounts. The inverter will swing into place. Insert the two lower screws and you have successfully mounted the inverter. Optimizers output one volt safe voltage prior to the inverter actually commanding them to export power. Since voltages add uh, in series strings, we can measure the number of modules that we have in each string. So in this example, we have nine modules. And as you can see, our DC volt meter is displaying nine volts. To install the wiring in the AC-DC disconnect box, SolarEdge uses a spring compression terminal block. You simply press down on the release inside the terminal block, insert the wires, and then check the strength of the connection. These envelopes are included with every SolarEdge inverter. Do not throw them away, for you will need the SD card for activation. Insert the SD card in the socket behind the board here. Now, we will pair the power optimizers with the inverter. This will let the inverter know how many power optimizers are on the roof. It will take about three minutes for pairing. Your system is now producing AC power. You can check on the optimizer count here and see as they report in. This can take an additional 10 to 20 minutes for all of the optimizers to report in. If you want to monitor your system, SolarEdge offers free monitoring for 25 years. You can track your system's performance on your computer, iPhone, iPad, and now Android devices. For this installation, we will hardware the communications using a standard Cat5 Ethernet cable. You can check your monitoring connection on this screen. All ones means that you're fully connected. Each one represents a step in the data path. For instance, the first one means that the Ethernet cable is connected properly. The fourth indicates that we have pinged the World Wide Web. All eight means that we have connected to the SolarEdge server successfully. Now let's check our array performance. You can see that our new 9.5 kilowatt array is registered and displaying our energy produced. Great job, everyone.